Hi, my name is Trent Harris. I work with Master Medical Equipment. Uh, today we're going to be going over the Sapphire. It is a single channel pump. And we'll just do a quick unboxing. Uh, in the box you will find the pump, the mount, and a charging cable. One thing to note on this charging cable, there's a red dot. It will line up with a gray arrow on the bottom of the pump. You will hear a click. This is designed so that you can't just simply pull on the cord to unplug this. You have to physically grab the hub and disengage from the pump. One thing to note on the mount, you've got two tabs at the bottom. This will just set in from the bottom and just click in to release. Simple push of the button. You can also pull out on this. It's spring loaded so you can rotate as desired depending on your mounting location. We do offer a couple of different tubing options for this pump. This is the basic uh, full set tubing. You will notice a gray arrow on this cassette. Uh, the, the arrow will be pointing down when we load this into the pump. You can prime the tubing on the pump or you can do it manually, which most folks prefer by just a simple press. And we will let this tubing prime. It's just a faster method than priming via the pump. So we'll go ahead and power this on and load this tubing. Just simply open up the side uh, door. The arrow will point down. There's two ears on the bottom of the cassette. Just press firmly and it'll clip into the metal ears on the top and then just close the door. So the pump, uh, as you'll notice on the screen, there's three LEDs on the right side. The top one is your alarm. It will flash red if uh, you have an alarm. The middle is a charge indicator. It will flash yellow if the unit is charging and it will become a steady yellow when the unit is fully charged. The bottom is a run indicator. While the pump is infusing, it will flash green on the bottom um, LED. Only two buttons on the face of the pump. The right is your on off button and then there's a big stop button in the middle. So we will turn this on. It will ask us when the pump comes on which clinical care area that we do uh, wish to be in. Whenever you accept a clinical care area, you will note that in the upper left hand of the screen. It will tell you which clinical care area uh, the pump is currently running in. This will tell you that we are in continuous mode and then a battery charge indicator on the far right. So we will accept this. It is a fully touch screen uh, unit. You do have the option to prime on the pump. Um, it is somewhat slower than just priming via gravity, but the option is here. So we will begin a new infusion. We will use um, Let's just say we want to start a dopamine infusion. We'll just hit the number three, which is where the letter D is at. And you see that we've got three drugs that begin with the letter D. So we will look at those. We've got diltiazem, dobutamine, and there's our dopamine. We will select our concentration. We'll select a 400 and 250 here. And our patient Let's say they weigh 100 kilograms. And let's start this at four mics. And then we will select our size there and it will give us our time. Two of these three parameters have to be entered in order to begin an infusion. Once you're satisfied with that, you will have a confirmation screen that comes up. You can review there and hit next. 
tells you the amount of drug in your diluent volume and then just simply hit the start. As you will notice, this is now flashing green, indicating that we indeed are infusing. Also got this indicator in the upper part of the screen to say that we're infusing. If we do want to stop, this particular unit has got a password uh, protected, but that can be modified in the drug library. If we wanted to modify our rate, and let's say we go up to six mics. It tells you that you will be changing from four micrograms per kilogram per minute to six. Okay to confirm. And now we're infusing at six mics. You can do a maintenance infusion that is outside of the drug library. This just tells you that uh, choosing this option will bypass the drug specific limits. We will hit okay because we know that we're just infusing a maintenance infusion. We will do this non-weight based and milliliters an hour. And let's run this at 100 milliliters an hour. And we've got a 500 cc bag. And it calculates that out for us to say that this will take, this is a five hour infusion. We just hit OK there. Again, confirmation screen to review. And then simply hit start. And we're now infusing this maintenance infusion at a hundred mLs an hour. This is a very good little unit. Uh, if you're in the market for a single channel pump, feel free to give us a call today. We've sold a lot of these and um, everyone seems to be very happy. Thank you.